When your cup is full, stop pouring. And that is the thought for today. Welcome to 7 Good Minutes. I'm Clyde Lee Dennis. Thanks for joining me for what I believe will be seven of the most enriching minutes of your day. In today's audio, we get some great advice from Dr. Wayne Dyer on how to live a simple and peaceful life. Enjoy. Okay, let's go on to the next thought, to change. So you're changing from not trusting in your nature to trusting in your nature. You change your thought from, I need more, to what I call living contentment. What is this thing about more? It's the, it's the mantra of the ego, isn't it? I have to have more. I have to collect more stuff. I have to have more friends. I have to have more money. It's more, 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 more. When where you came from, came from nowhere. You don't need anything. It's a continuous bombardment that we are all exposed to in this whole world of believing that we have to have more. It's one of the reasons why I love public television so much. You don't see ads on PBS. You don't have to be constantly exposed to the idea that you have to have more and you have to get more and if you don't have this, then you're not complete and so on. So we get bombarded with this idea of attracting more. And Lao Tzu says, live contentment. Live in a state of being contented. Here's verse 81. The last verse of the Tao Te Ching, my favorite translation of it, and I put it right into the book. Sages do not accumulate anything, but give everything to others. Having more, the more they give. Mm -hmm. It's a great lesson. My son Sands, who's, uh, you know, we're very, very close. We just spent a couple of months together over in Maui, just, just being together, just being. It was a divine time. And he came home with, um, it was last summer, he came home with four t-shirts that he loved. And I said, well, honey, I said, which, which one do you like the best? He said, well, that one over there, that blue one, it's got the writing and it's got the drawing and it's got a, a surfer and it's got, and I said, that's great. I said, uh, I'd like to have that one. <laughs> he said, no, no, dad, that's my favorite. That's the one I, that's the one I like the best. I said, I know. I said, that's the one. I, uh, would you mind if I had that one? He said, I would mind a lot. <laughs> if you had that one. He said, maybe you can have one. I'm not so crazy about this one over here. I said, so you're going to give me something you don't like? You know, I said, I want, I, I, that's the one. I love that because we have the same taste. Could I have that one? He said, Dad, you're crazy. He said, you can't have my favorite t-shirt. I said, well, I want you to think about that. I want you to think about detaching and, and letting go and not needing to have more. And he's heard me talk about this stuff his entire life. So finally, he just, you know, I went in and I tried it on and I said, ah, oh, this thing looks so great. <laughs> Looking in the mirror, you know, thing. he said, Dad, that, that really is mine. I said, yeah, I said, but you're, you're going to give it to me. He said, no, no. I said, yeah, well, just think about it, you know, because I'm your dad and I'd really like to have this. And <laughs> so he reluctantly parted with it. And uh, so the next, I, the next uh, that evening, I was still wearing the shirt and he looked at me and he said, oh, that's my shirt. I said, you know, Sands, I said, uh, you gave me the shirt. I said, um, I'm going to wear this shirt until you are happy that I have your favorite shirt. I'm, gonna just, I'm never going to take it off until you are happy. He said, well, you'll be wearing that shirt a long time. <laughs> I said, well, that's okay. So I wore it. The next day I got up. I slept in it that night. I got up the next I did. I got up the next morning, I put it on, and that Sands would come in and oh, he'd look at me. I said, oh, you're still not happy that you gave me something that you really love. Because that, this is what it really means to be a sage. This is what it means to be a divine being, to be someone who's willing to depart with uh, not the things they don't like, but what they do like. I wore it the next day. I wore it the next day. I wore it for two weeks. <laughs> Take it off only to wash it, put it right back on. Two solid weeks. Each one of my children will tell you. Finally, one day he said, Dad, I'm so happy. I am so thrilled that you have that t-shirt. I said, oh, that's great. I can finally take this thing off. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to just give it away. But it's like, what a great lesson in that. The idea that you, you, you take, you know, there's a rule. It's called the 80-20 rule. And in the 80-20 rule, it says um, everything that you have, all of your stuff, 20% of it is what you use. 
all of your clothes in your closet, 20%, you just keep using the same 20% over and over, 80% of the clothing that you have in your, in your closet for so many people is something that you never use, you don't wear. You look at it, you store it, you think, well, there might come a day, oh, I can't part with that, even though you've been carting it around, every time you move, you move it and you put it... <laughs> Take the 80% that you don't use, says Lao Tzu, and give it away, give it away. Lao Tzu said that when your cup is full, stop pouring. When your cup is full, stop pouring. We have an obesity crisis in the, in the United States, in the Western world. The obesity crisis can be handled if you just read the Tao. If you realize, in verse 33, it says, if you realize you have enough, you are truly rich. If you could just learn something called portion control, where you just take a bite and you say, is my cup full? Stop pouring. Stop pouring. In other words, instead of filling yourself with with that which is already a surplus, in the Tao it teaches us to take surpluses and to reduce them and to take deficiencies and increase them so that we create balance in our lives, to be in balance. You can take the jewelry that you don't use, you can take the clothing, that, and then once you've given away the 80% the, the that you don't use, take one of the things that you really like. <laughs> and practice giving that away. It's such a wonderful way. Please keep in mind, this is about half of the entire presentation. If you're up for a treat, you should definitely listen to the whole thing. You can do so by clicking the link labeled View the Full Video on YouTube in the show notes. So that does it for this episode of 7 Good Minutes. Until next time, let's be civil to one another out there. Thanks for listening.